Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Streggy, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. That's it. Screw you and your college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge. So fuck you. Over. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur. I'm your host, David Streggy, and here I have another review for you of Andy Muschietti's uh, Stephen King's It remake. And uh, I know that my opinion will differ from everyone else's, but uh, and maybe it's biased due to the fact that I am uh, for my love of the uh, miniseries it's, uh, as, as self, but here I go on about uh, his particular film. Um, directed by Andy Machete, most known for his horror hit Mama from 2003. It's based on a short film of the same name. Uh, he's taken the helm of Stephen King's most popular miniseries uh, from the 90s, <laughs> as well as 1986 novella of the same name, uh, It, uh, which came out, in fact, it came out three years ago, um, with New Line Cinema, Cat Smith uh, produ uh, Productions, Lynn Pictures, also known as Dan Lynn, um, a Taiwanese producer uh, known for producing the Lego movie and uh, Vertigo Pictures with distribution already through um, Warner Brothers. It is the story of seven teenagers living in Derry, Maine, who go up against a mysterious entity and only together save their own and uh, their divinity by their town uh, and their divinity by facing their own horrors. The film starts out like the miniseries with Billy Denborough, uh, played by Leberher, and his brother Georgie, uh, where Georgie wants to play with a paper boat Billy has made. Georgie plays with the boat and uh, as it's raining, and the boat sails away from him and falls into a sewer hole on the side of the street. Whereas Tim Curry played the role in the miniseries, Bill Skarsgård takes up the role as the sadistic child-killing clown, terror, uh, terrorizing this group uh, that calls themselves the loser. I will say the quips of Eddie, played by Grazer, throughout the film were comical and, ma and made the film and Billy Leberer, um, uh, who who's uh, supposed to have a lisp, wasn't Brandis who played the original Billy, but for a modern adaptation, I guess, wasn't bad. It's just I could tell that he had a lisp. <laughs> uh, or actually, it, it felt kind of forced to me, um, the lisp. 
I think that this film uh, was better than I had anticipated it, it being, but um, um, I, I'll get to that la later. The um part. <laughs> That being said, uh, said, this film it was uh, uh, sl was uh, slated for another uh, uh, part, which uh, totally ended up being like like they took the miniseries and just kind of redid it. It's like you could take this film, slash it away, and just put uh, just watch uh, it chapter two uh, just as the main film. <laughs> uh, I do feel the chemistry of the cast of the children is definitely strong. The backstories were different, but um, it was intriguing to see them uh, done a little bit differently, where it, where it was separate from the stories of the uh, the adults. Did I like the film? I'm on the fence, uh, to be honest, still on this uh, uh, this re re remake. Um, I think that the wildly shaking about, about of Pennywise in this adaptation, a constant smile on his face, could, uh, was very annoying. I, I just couldn't get into the clown. Um, I didn't like his look. I I didn't like his voice. And I thought in this particular film, he only had one line. Uh, he had, we all float down here. Uh, and that's all I, uh, that I, I mean, every other line seemed to be drowned out by that line. And uh, to me, repeating lines uh, over and over is not exactly Pennywise to me. Uh, to me. I thought that the backstory of the clown. Uh, once you learned it, um, was very cool uh, that it was connected to a um, circus of sorts, which wasn't uh, something that was brought up uh, in the original mini uh, series. So I, I do like some of the added things. It's just I just couldn't take this uh, this Pennywise seriously. Um. And uh, that being s uh, said, it's hard for me to watch either one of these two films because uh, the, uh, the clown annoyed me so, so much. I think the public is going to definitely take a look and see that putting a remake together like this might be how to do it. But then again, I'm still thinking to myself, are the effects of CGI over the top? Um, I'm still looking, I still look forward to reviewing the second part, but like I said, others will probably enjoy the film more than I did this film. I wasn't on the bandwagon, uh, with everyone on this film, and I know that. But uh, that's why films are interpretive. I mean, not everyone's going to like what everyone else is going to like. I just don't think the shaky clown and the shaky moments uh, and the the, uh, the terrible CGI to me. Um, I, I actually much prefer the stop motion animation, uh, to be honest. And I love that ab about the, the Stephen King miniseries. It the whole Stephen King miniseries had a certain creepy vibe that this movie did not have for me. And, uh... Everyone's allowed to have an opinion. I I think that Skarsgård makes an interesting apparently wise, but it's up to you in the end, folks. Um, but there's my thoughts on the, fil uh, the, the film. Um... So, I'm going to leave it up to the audience for the most part, whether they entirely enjoyed this film or not, because uh, I'm in the middle between hating and loving this film, and uh, I wasn't 
like I said, part of the uh, let's hate on Tim Curry moment. You know what I mean? Let's forget that that miniseries even existed. And yet we loved it at the time, you know? <laughs> the clown is definitely not Tim Curry. And uh, I was disappointed in both adaptations, uh, b uh, both chapters. But give the film a, 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 one to, uh, a watch if you want, if you have not seen it. Um, I know that it probably terrifies other people, but it didn't me. Uh, maybe that's because I grew up on the original miniseries and I have an avid love for it. In any case, thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, and morning, wherever you are. I appreciate your time spent on my page, and I will definitely have some more cool, creepy films to talk about, uh, or any film, to be honest. So thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy. P.S. I guess... If I had to take the beginning um, with uh, when Georgie got sucked into the uh, uh, sewer with uh, the effects uh, of of the time, I guess I I like the beginning of this uh, Stephen King's it ad adaptation better than the original miniseries, um, where um, Georgie gets the um, sailboat uh, uh, sucked into the uh, uh, sewer, uh, sewer. Um, I like the fact that uh, that uh, the clown had Leviathan sets of teeth that chomped hi him to pieces and you saw uh, a little bit more of what happened to him but while the sailboat was sailing down uh, down towards the sewer, that was a different matter. There were no ripples in the water uh, like in the original. Uh, um, you could see that it, uh, the sailboat was actually being pulled. So I could tell that it was not real. Um, and that aspect of the fil of film I did entirely enjoy. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate the time um, spent on this channel, and hopefully you enjoy the movie better than I did. You were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?